Hi everyone, welcome to Jordi's World Experience channel. Today we're gonna talk about how to improve in any language. I'm gonna give you five tips and see if you can improve your language. Let's start. Okay, so in order to start, we're gonna talk about how to start improving your language, right? So you just started, you're, you are a beginner, so you might, you might be taking some classes, but still, even though you're, you're going to some language school or something, uh, you still have to keep on learning this language. What do I want to say with this? Normally you take an average of two classes per week, but if you really want to learn a language, two classes per week is not enough. So that means you also have to do a big work at home or by yourself, right? So, so in order to get ready, my first tip would be use learning apps. Learning apps are very useful in my, in my opinion. I think um, using apps such as uh, Duolingo are a great idea to, as I said, get ready, right? These apps, in my opinion, are not like the best to learn the whole language but they're, they're very good to start. So you can start by learning, you know, how to greet someone, how to talk a little bit in past, maybe in future, um, how to pronounce some things, and uh, just learn the, the pronunciation terms or the pronunciation rules. From there, you can start, you know, being more picky and starting to learn the things you really want to learn with this language. So yeah, I mentioned Duolingo, um, but there are others, there are other applications that work very, very well. So that's gonna be my first tip. Okay, second tip here, um, if you're learning a language, it's very, very easy to keep up. It's like very, very easy, right? When you start learning a language and everything, you know, it doesn't matter what language, in my opinion, but when you start it, everything is kind of easy, right? You just have to remember some words. Hello, how are you? My name is... and things like that. But when you start learning how to speak in past or how to write in future, it becomes very, very hard sometimes, right? So it's very easy to give up. So my second tip would be have consistency. Right? It, I, I know it seems very easy to just say it, right? It's very easy to say it, but you have to have consistency. It's very important and in order not to lose this consistency, you have to find a motivation. You have to find um, those things you like uh, to learn in other languages. Okay, if you are going to a language school and you are already learning uh, grammar, vocabulary, things like that. You can listen to some music in the language you're learning and that can be very interesting. You can uh, learn new words, new vocabulary and uh, if you really like music, if you really like listening to music, you will end up uh, learning more and more words every day and that's a very simple and easy exercise to keep on doing it in your routine if, you, if you're going to work or if you're just going out you can just go with your uh, headphones and yeah just so yeah again two very uh, important things to have consistency and the second thing find the motivation that's very important like try to look for those things you really like and um, yeah just find information in the language you're learning so tip number three, uh, we can say that from, from now we are in a level where we can already say some things uh, in past, in future, and uh, this time uh, we want to know more. And the best way to learn is by talking to native people sometimes, right? Not always, but sometimes. So I, I strongly recommend you these applications applications such as Tandem or HelloTalk. When, when you sign up, they ask you, what language are you learning? So for instance, if I'm learning Spanish, they will match me with other people from Spain or Latin America. So I will have the chance 
to talk directly to someone that is native from the language I'm learning. And that is very interesting. You can make friends all over the world. You can learn some vocabulary. You can uh, chat to these people. You can also do video calls, which is like uh, a something very fun to do. I've been using uh, Tandem for some time and it's very interesting. And I, I, I even met some people that I, uh, that I knew from Tandem. So it's like a, a very, very nice um, application you, you so you can learn and also you can teach right it's like um like a mutual thing right um you want to learn uh another language and that person wants to learn wants to know your language right so it's a common thing as i'm saying you can make many friends and very fun way to to learn right so yeah in some of these applications you also you sometimes have a tab you have a tab that says near me, right? So you click there and then you can even see if someone that is native from the language you're learning is living around your area. That's very interesting because you can make friends in real life, right? For instance, if I'm learning Chinese and I go to the stop near me, maybe I, I can see some people around me like this person is one one kilometer away from me or there are four or five Chinese people living in my living in my town living in my city so you can go text them and perhaps meet them so it's a very interesting thing um, I personally love to do uh, friends and uh, you sometimes you don't know where they are if you're interested in learning a language you also want to have friends you also want to have uh, native friends and uh, that's the, this application is like the perfect excuse to go and um, you know chat with them and if you can meet them then that's awesome you're gonna learn faster and faster okay so tip number four so tip number four tip number four is connected to uh, tip number two and um, yeah, we all know that uh, platforms like Netflix or HBO are very, very popular nowadays. And uh, they're also very good to keep on learning languages. So my advice would be to start watching some series or movies in the language you're learning. Again, you have to have a basic level first. When you have a basic medium level, then you can start doing this you can start watching Netflix. And then a very important thing to do is if you're watching movies, you you have to use subtitles in the language you're learning and the, the audio has to also be in the same uh, language, right? It, it doesn't make sense to, for instance, if I'm, if I'm learning English and I'm from Spain, um, to just put the subtitles in English and, and the audio in Spanish. It doesn't make sense because, you know, you're hearing and then you have to read and it's, I don't know, it's, it doesn't make sense. So if you really want to uh, try to know what they're saying, best thing to do is put everything in the language you're learning. That's very important because some people do this or vice versa, they, they put the audio from the from the movie in the language they're learning and they use subtitles in their uh, native language and it's like it's like a um, you have to do a big effort right with your uh, brain you have to read and hear at the same time just is, is in for, from my point of view this is no sense so if you really want to like focus 100% then just everything in the language you're learning or you can also watch some uh, YouTube videos about things that you like in in the language you're learning. Um, for instance, if you like video games, uh, you can even if you're playing video games, you can even um, change the language uh, from the video game in the in the language you're learning, and that's a very 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 fun thing to do. Or for instance, when I use my phone. Uh, I'm learning Korean, right? So I used to have my phone in English. Sometimes I change to Korean. 
So yeah, that's another another uh, nice thing to do because you you have to read and you you make the effort to to know what you're looking for in your phone, for instance, right? So that's a very nice thing to do and a very interesting, very smart thing to do, yeah. And final, final tip, tip number five. Tip number five would be to, once you've done all these I've said before, once you've, you've been using uh, uh, learning apps, you've been consistent because you found the motivation, uh, you met some friends in tandem, you, you've seen some movies in Netflix or HBO, so from there your time has arrived. Now is the perfect time to go and make a trip. You have, you have to make a trip and test yourself. You know, at some point you have to test yourself. So, as I'm saying, uh, it's now time to make a trip to that country you like and, and test yourself, right? So if you're learning Italian, it's your time to go to Italy and test yourself. Uh, you know, when you make a trip, you, you will learn a lot of things and again, uh, is your is the time to test yourself. A very important thing you must know is that some people, when they learn a language, they go to, they make a trip, they go to uh, the country they they always wanted to go. Um, they only focus on saying the things right, you know, grammarly speaking, you know, and they they normally they don't hear much or they don't pay much attention to what people is is saying right so it's very important to say the things right but you also have to uh, listen very well that's very very important you can speak perfectly but if you don't understand your partner or the person you're talking to it doesn't make sense right as i'm saying it's, it's like a very common thing to do you learn how to say the things properly but then when you're talking to someone uh, you don't understand them so pay attention and I, I even think that it's more important to know what people is talking to you instead of saying things right yeah so that's it uh, I hope you guys liked this video if you did just then just click the like button if you would like to add something else any other tips you can just write down in the description section and I will read your comments and that's it I hope guys uh, this is gonna help you and yeah that's it um, I'm sorry for not uploading many videos I'm very busy nowadays but still we'll keep up with this uh, YouTube channel of course and I see you guys in, in the next video peace